Cairo. morning guys this morning it was like half eight ish and then i like saw the sunlight coming through the room and i just like put on some clothes and then like just headed outside and had a really nice morning walk it was really nice i think this is the first time it's sunny since coming back so i was just really excited <laughs> i only walked for like 20 minutes or so the grass was like frosty so it was a bit cold but it wasn't too bad but it definitely was a really nice refreshing way to start the day except <laughs> <laughs> when I came back, I slept until like half 10. So now it's about 11. Just because um, the first day that I arrived here, I slept for like four hours that evening. And then yesterday, it was yesterday the first day. No, yesterday was second. Yeah, yeah, yesterday. Yeah, I don't know anymore. Basically, I haven't been sleeping much. <laughs> And then, so today I thought I would sleep a bit more to try to get eight, eight hours because I want to get eight hours like overall in general. But I, I struggle to do that like normally. But I think we're like, okay. <laughs> and I feel so much more refreshed after sleeping for two more hours. So now I am going to work. So today I have nothing apart from 4 p.m. land law meeting. Probably Pomodoro because yeah um i definitely need break more often than before because of my hands just to make sure i'm not just charging in and i'm gonna start the day by doing land law <laughs> i added some stickers to my planner i'm just gonna try finish this sheet that i started yesterday so you guys know i'm making like summary sheets for each of the topics just so i can like quickly refer to them set up 15 minutes by the way i got this from miniso if you guys are wondering where i got it from Staring out the window Reaching for a North Star Waiting just to wake up From this nightmare Where you could be right back in my arms Dancing to the limbo Stuck here in the middle You tell me that it's simple But I could paint A thousand different pictures of what is wrong But if we turn Hey guys, so I just did 45 minutes of focused work on uh, co-ownership in land. So now I'm going to move on to proprietary stockle after my 15 minute break. So I started a timer on my laptop. I have 10 minutes left. So I'm going to try to uh, revise proprietary estoppel because my next supervision for land law is co-ownership and proprietary estoppel. My college wife just messaged me asking if I wanted to join her to go to Market Square for lunch. So I was actually going to like make lunch or something but because it's so sunny, I think it'll be nice to like walk out, go to Market Square. So I'm going to do like 45 minutes again. I probably won't wait until 10 minutes is over because we're going to go at 1pm and it's 12.05 right now. So yeah. I feel rested and I feel like I'm ready for another 45 minutes, so it's okay. We're all flexible here. <laughs> this is the completed sheet for now, and then I'm starting my next one. Look at how sunny it is. I think like what I love about living in college and things like that is that we can do things so spontaneously. finished proprietary estoppel. This is the final sheet except I just need to fill in the right side with some cases that I have but pretty much done. I am now going to head off. I have my tote bag, tote bag that I need to fill. This tote bag I got in France like this really nice guy in the cafe gifted this to us. I want to buy some stuff from town as well so look at this immaculate weather. It's not even that cold today as well, even though it's one degree, so. Wait, did I tell you? 
think I did live drawing with Shen. Oh really? The, oh no, I saw it. Oh yeah. Wow. It's so warm. <laughs> Things in Cambridge. Yora is. What did you get? The sugar. Is it good? We're going to go up. We just finished climbing 123 steps. So tired. So unfit. We're actually we were really unfit. Harris is the only ones that survived. <laughs> but it's so pretty. Oh, because you can't really see, right? Yeah, you can't really look that way. This is like a viewing spot on top of St. Mary's Church. Nobody here right now but us. Oh. I just came back from going up the tower and having lunch with uh, C and Harris and it's like about sunset time so like my room is quite warm because the sun hits directly in like for like most of the day because I think my room is south facing I don't know might not be but it's good with sunlight I guess so I was out for a bit longer than I thought I would be but <laughs> I have about 45 minutes until my meeting and a landlord meeting so I think I'm gonna do like half an hour or something of work Today is gorgeous. I just finished my landlord meeting with a new supervisor and it was very reassuring. Um, I guess to some extent I am a little bit like apprehensive and I am excited as well. Like as in starting a new year with a new cohort. Also I know second year lawyers but like not very well so <laughs> I guess it was just like reassuring to meet the new supervisor and kind of um, understand a bit better of what's gonna happen. But I now have my supervision time for landlord which is on Fridays at 10 30 which doesn't clash with anything right now so i think be okay <laughs> yeah but uh the sun is currently setting and it looks so beautiful i ran out again after seeing the sky oh, the sunset i'm literally wearing flip flops wow The wife is here. Hi! Oh, it's such a beautiful day. Oh, I know. It's so pink. So That's nice. his favorite color. Yeah. Hi. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Literally ran out in my pajamas. Well, not pajamas, but like, like this. This is how Dude, I get cold I, and die. Are you not cold? You're actually. You I'm actually freezing. not cold right now. Really? No. Oh, she was relatively not cold. I'm vlog on mine as well. I did some exercise and now it's 9 p.m. and I am gonna go back to working. <laughs> yeah, so I was watching the Netflix K drama Our Beloved Summer and I'm really enjoying it. I actually only got to watch nine minutes of it today, like during eating. I guess I just ate really quick, but um, yeah, I'm gonna continue with international law that's on my schedule right now so yeah my life this week if it's not with friends or like doing some kind of other thing i'm just really just revising here be drinking this it's kind of like sparkling water i guess oh it's sparkling water i don't actually like sparkling water but this is peach flavored and it's so good it's just a nice alternative, I guess. Tomorrow, I am going to continue doing international law, um, specifically self-defense. And I want to focus on mm, reading the PQ note and finishing up my summary sheet. And then I'm going to move on to land at some point. I'm going to stick an avocado in.
woke up and did a bit of revision and now I'm gonna make myself some coffee. I'm just in the kitchen. The weather is really nice today. I'll show you guys. So beautiful. leftover rice and I have like eggs and stuff like that so I can just make like fried rice it should be nice and see Harris and Sumin are gonna come cook in this kitchen tonight we're making coconut curry I say we I mean see and Harris are gonna be doing most of the I'll be there for moral support I guess <laughs> so I realized I forgot to put the oat milk in the fridge so I can't even make coffee right now because I don't want more coffee Two tablespoons of sugar is quite a bit, but so I've made the tarragona. Did this really just okay? Okay, oh my gosh, not only did that just happen, but when I opened my cupboard, this fell out and then it fell on my toe. I'm so sad. It's really a great way to um, continue the day. I'm trying to practice like radical acceptance so I don't remember where I heard this term but I heard some YouTube talk about it and I was just like whatever happens you just accept it and then with a positive mindset and then you just go I think like all my life I've been quite a positive person but recently like in the past few months I feel like I've been a little bit more negative so I'm trying to see the good in things a bit more and sometimes like I guess if you just radically accept the situation then I don't know at least you don't waste time being frustrated or sad so we'll just uh, think, you know, that that's just what happened it's okay, we'll just move on <laughs> my toe really hurts though <laughs> so radical acceptance is that it's something that we all kind of know it's just like having that term is really nice so I have this chocolate. This is my favorite brand of, brand of chocolate, Meiji. But I haven't tried the green tea chocolate yet. I thought it was like a really nice concept to explain perfectly like how I want things to be. Like when things happen, whether it's small or big, I just accept it and then I move on. But obviously it doesn't work with everything. Mmm, that's so good. So this morning, I think I woke up at like 9 or something and then I did this. My super notes for supervision five, um, but I still need to prepare for the presentation for that. This session, I'm going to focus on landfill. I finished the international stuff that I needed to, which is really good. It takes quite a while to kind of like reconfigure my brain to focus on like a different subject. I find land to be one of the more intricate topics like there's a lot of different things combined it requires a lot of attention to detail and kind of like sorting out facts and stuff but at the same time I think it's currently my favorite subject it reminds me a lot of Roman law which I really enjoyed in first year so in land law I guess currently what I'm learning about is like um, co-ownership and proprietary estoppel which is like when two or more people like own land and then like um it doesn't sound that interesting right <laughs> i guess when two or more people own land and like their rights over the land and what if another person who doesn't have legal title to the land come and want to claim that land can they then have the land or if you like buy land from someone but actually it turns out that person isn't like the owner like the actual rightful owner because of fraud or deceit or something Thing, then can you still have the land or should the person who originally owned the land should they get the land instead and I think these are really like interesting to me focus on the supervision questions for land law and then mm -hmm. past 15 minutes, I was working on this essay question. It's a tripos question, but I've done most of the prep for this super, I think. The milk is cold. There's about like 12 or 
13, 14 of us sharing this kitchen and like part of this household. But currently I've only met like three or four, but I know like a few more, like three more people here, but I haven't seen them yet because I guess term hasn't started. I honestly loved my household in first and second year because obviously I squatted, so meaning I stayed in the same room for first and second year as well. Well, first year and then second year, first term. <laughs> It's now nearly half one. I worked for a bit longer than I thought I would. So I think I'm gonna go cook lunch now. Let's go. Huge. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Sugi joined me. Hello. Hello. Taking a break to see the sunset. Oh it's an egg. Oh, you never noticed it. Wow. A whole chef. Explain your dish. No, I mean like at this stage it's just onions, but we're gonna make Malaysian curry. Ooh. I mean, I'm actually just using the curry piece, so it's not the control. <laughs> Anyone can do it. Do you get the recipe from your brother? Yeah. It's actually so simple. Like, 